Welcome back, everybody. So rapper YNW Melly is seven weeks out from his retrial in South Florida, and his defense team believes that that time should be spent out on bond. A motion appeared Wednesday in the Broward County court docket asking for an Arthur hearing for the first time since melly has been in custody. The South Florida rapper, whose real name is Jamel Demons, is accused of killing two of his close friends, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas, back in 2018. Prosecutors believe that Melly, along with his co-defendant Cortland Henry, shot the two men while the group was in a Jeep and then staged the alleged gang-related murders to look like a drive-by shooting. Melly's defense team argues that their client had no reason to kill his close friends and there's insufficient evidence to prove it. Melly faced the death penalty in his first double murder trial held in June and July, but the 12-panel jury couldn't reach a unanimous verdict and it ended in a mistrial. Prosecutors are set to retry Melly again in October. In the meantime, his defense team argues that Melly's been in jail for over four years and he's entitled to bond for several reasons. One of those being that prosecutors couldn't prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt the first time around and his co-defendant Cortland Henry has been out on bond despite facing the same charges. The only difference, of course, is that Melly faces the death penalty while Henry does not. The bond hearing is set for Friday. So, Brian, why do a bond hearing now after the trial? I feel like there's an advantage there, right? Yeah, so you can actually ask for a change of bond at any time uh, in someone's criminal case, but you typically have to wait for what's called a change of circumstances. And mm. this, I think, does create a change of circumstances where they say, hey, judge, regardless of whether it was one to 11 or 11 to one to acquit, they could not get all 12. And at least in his mind, the charges are a little bit weaker and he has more aspirations of fighting this case. Let him be out while he fights it. However, on the flip side, the prosecution, they were quick to say, let's do this trial right away. That somewhat negates that because they say, hey, our trial's about to start right now. He's not gonna be languishing in jail for, or, uh, for months and months on end till the next trial. So it's a bit of a balancing act there. So, so Brian's right. In Melly's mind, and maybe in a lot of legal analysts' mind, the case looks a lot weaker than it did when it started. Having said that, does it look weaker in the mind of the court? Because he still tried, he's still facing the charges of double murder where, they, where the judge might say, okay, now you can you be out because that didn't change. He's still charged with the double murder here. Well, not only is he still charged with the double murder, he's also has the death penalty that right, he's facing. Right, that's true. So I think the judge is going to look at this as a very serious case, and I think Judge Murphy is going to think very carefully about what is happening with Cortland Henry. Remember, he is also trying that case. So that case is going to have to be, I think, postponed because you can't do both at the same time unless they assign it to another judge. But I think as far as Bond is concerned, Melly has been, I think so far, based on everything we've seen, a very good person as far as being behind bars. He mm -hmm. hasn't caused any trouble, he's appeared in court, he hasn't been outrageous in any way, shape, or form. And I think they can set it up so that he has restrictions the way Henry has restrictions. Right. So the judge could grant the bond. It doesn't seem like they're gonna be dropping the death penalty aspect of it. Have you ever seen a case before where somebody, the death penalty is on the table and they're actually out on bond pending the trial? I don't. I can't remember. <laughs> I cannot think exactly. of one because at, at the end of the day, there's a number of reasons why people are considered to be a flight risk, and the biggest one usually right. is the type of punishment they're facing. This is the highest level yeah. of punishment in this country, so it would be a reason for someone to flee. Okay, big decision for the judge. When we come back, more coverage in South Florida as rapper YNW Melly awaits his retrial. The new addition to Melly's defense team and new possible strategies for jury selection. What's next? Welcome back, everybody. So we're finishing today's show with more coverage of the YNW Melly saga out in South Florida. The rapper's retrial is set for October in a death penalty case for double murder. But two questions still remain. One, will Melly wait behind bars or out on bond? And two, what will be different in court a second time around? Well, Melly, whose real name is Jamel Demons, is accused of killing two of his close friends in 2018. Prosecutors believe that Melly and co-defendant Cortland Henry shot the two victims while they were in a Jeep and then staged the alleged gang-related murders to look like a drive-by. Melly's defense team believes that the state lacks both motive and forensic evidence to tie their client to the case. Melly faced the death penalty in his double murder trial, which started in June and by July ended in a mistrial. 
While Melly's retrial is still more than six weeks out, an Arthur hearing is scheduled for Friday to see if Melly is el eligible for bond. Now, also noted on the court docket was a change in attorneys. Melly's stacked defense team has switched out attorney David Howard for Jamie Benjamin, a former president of several lawyer associations and winner of several death penalty cases. Jury selection in Melly's retrial is scheduled to begin October 9th. Terry, new legal team, new strategy, what do you think? Well, I think the new legal team should make sure that they touch base with the old legal team, and some of the old legal team is still there. One of the things I think they will do differently here, because I had a conversation when I was down there with the attorneys, I think they're going to try, or they should, to put in an expert to battle what was said on the prosecution side, as far as that expert was concerned, for the trajectory of those bullets because that's one of the things I think the jury looked at very seriously how those bullets were shot and how they could only come from where we know that Melly was sitting in that car at least when he got in so I expect to see at least one expert to put some more reasonable doubt in the minds of more of those juries whether it was nine to three or three to nine or whether it's just one person I think they need to have more expert opinion in there. And if they can put another fact witness in, someone mm -hmm. else who was sitting in that second vehicle. But, you know, we'll see what happens. The question is, they got one, Adrian Davis. Can they get someone else who was sitting in that second Jeep to come? Well, the reporting is, the rumor mill is, is that there was one holdout that convinced two other jurors to vote not guilty for uh, YNW Melly. Now that he's getting this new defense team, you hear Mr. Benjamin's experience in death penalty cases. What do you think? What do you think the strategy is going to be? Focus on the jury. It's not necessarily, I, I think the facts are the facts. I don't think there's going to be a wild or drastic change as to what we heard from this second trial. And, and so when I think of that, it's less about what you can tell, it's more about who you can tell it to. And so if I'm the defense, I'm looking for strong personalities, because clearly one person was able to convince two others, if you believe the rumors, and I'm looking for strong personalities who will believe what I'm saying to them, either in my definition of what I'm talking about, the prosecution's burden, uh, that they cannot prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt, that there's two much circumstantial evidence, or just in connecting my client, that being YNW Melly, um, to someone who's personal in their life. I'm looking for the right person mm -hmm. who's going to buy what I'm selling. And I was just going to ask you, I mean, I'll, you can jump on that, Terry, but I was just going to ask you if you were surprised that David Howard was removed from the team. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Well, not only you, a lot of people thought he did a phenomenal job, and I was very surprised, but it's up to YNW Melly yes. as to whether or not he wants to have him on the team. I was just going to say, as far as what Brian was concerned, the jury is very important. Remember, this is a death penalty yep. jury, and that makes it harder for the defense because you have to make sure you have people who yep. will give the death penalty. Well, or, or open, open to it, open to Correct. it. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Brian. Everyone out there, thanks for joining us here on Long Crime Daily. We're going to see you next time as we discuss justice in America.